at one point he says, look, I'm going to give this guy a sentence that will allow him to get out at a very elderly age, but not before that. So it was at that moment that everyone in the room knew this was going to be a very serious sentence. He hadn't said the number yet. All right, so, hey, good to see you, AG, and hi to everyone listening, watching. Yeah, it was a wild sentencing hearing. I want to say off the bat that, you know, it was a very intense emotional experience. Uh, you know, Ronald McFadder's family spoke. Uh, Tack Stone gave a long uh, emotional speech of his own, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But... So the bullet points are tax stone was sentenced to 35 years, which is more even than the prosecutors were asking for. They were asking for 30. Uh, but the judge said, basically, look, I'm going to sentence him to a bunch of consecutive sentences on a bunch of counts because there were four victims in this case. And the judge basically said, um, you know, I want him to like feel that once he finishes a sentence for one victim, he's going to start a sentence for the next victim. Um, okay. You know, he, that he's, the judge said basically so that he's, you know, when one sentence ends, he's not going home. He's paying for what he did to the next victim and the next and the next. So that was the reason for one of the reasons for a very, very long sentence. Um, yeah, I guess, do you have any, I'll, you know, I can kind of go down beat by beat what happened. We get to this point, all of this has happened, and the judge starts talking, right? And it becomes clear, he, uh, to the person who asked before, it seems like he already kind of had his mind made up, because he didn't take a ton of time to deliberate afterwards. He didn't, like, go into his chambers. There wasn't a long break. Mm. He just sort of heard everyone and then read his sentence. Um... So basically, you know, he said, I don't understand this rap world. Maybe at some level I'll never get it, right? But nothing I've heard explains to me why Taxstone brought a gun into the club. Nothing explains to me, here's what he, something he said, nothing explains what was obviously the procurement of fake testimony. So... Uh, you remember this, AG, right? There was this whole thing about, like, there was a cell phone in jail with some messages that seemed right. to indicate he was trying to, like, get some witnesses to lie on his behalf. Mm -hmm. The judge stated fully that he believes that that's what happened. The judge in this case firmly 100% today said, you know, Tax tried to get people to lie on the stand for him. Mm. Which, obviously, the judge, you know, it wasn't up to the judge. The judge wasn't going to say what he thought. That was up to the jury. So we hadn't known the judge's take on this before. Um, yeah. And I just want to say to, to one commenter, Dartmouth, did he have a good lawyer? Yes, Kenneth Montgomery is a fantastic attorney. Uh, he's had many, a number of great cases defending all sorts of people, including uh, other people in hip-hop. Uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. He's incredibly smart and a great attorney. Uh, you don't win every case, you know? Um, and so, yeah, the judge basically said, look, um, there was one point, the judge is kind of talking, mm -hmm. and it, at one point he says, look, I'm going to give this guy a sentence that will allow him to get out at a very elderly age, but not before that. So it was at that moment that everyone in the room knew this was going to be a very serious sentence. He hadn't said the number yet, wow. right? But as soon as he said this thing about he's going to be in prison until a very elderly age, um, we knew it was going to be decades. Wait, wait, can I stop you right there? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have to ask. When he said that, did you notice Tax's side, the, the, the people who were there to support Tax, 
the expression on their faces? I didn't see faces because I, I, I was writing so quickly. I will say the air went out of the room. It was at that point the quietest room I'd ever been in. Wow. You could you could hear a pin drop. Everyone was was dead silent. It, it kind of knocked the wind out of everybody on both sides. Uh, as did the ultimate um, announcement of the number of, of the thirty-five years. Continue, please. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so he basically ended up getting, so there was this whole issue, like I said before, are the sentences going to be concurrent, run together, or will they be consecutive, one right after, one after another, after another, after another, which means, of course, you end up serving more time. Right. And basically, almost all of them, except the gun charges, uh, were consecutive. So on three of the counts... Um, excuse me, on four counts, three of them for 10 years, one for five years, they all ran consecutive. Uh, the gun charges ran uh, concurrent. So that's how you get 35 years, right? Um, and when he announced that number, again, you could you could hear a pin drop. Um, I will say Kenneth Montgomery explicitly objected to the judge saying that tax had procured false testimony. Uh, Montgomery said explicitly there was no procurement of false testimony. Um, tax after that, basically he just had just about enough time to, you know, people were, were shouting their support for him. He acknowledged them, said he loved them and you know, that was about it. Uh, I talked to Kenneth for like a brief second afterwards. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he said, the main thing he said was, it was a pleasure representing Taxstone. He said that, you know, multiple times. And then he said, basically, he brought up this thing again about the sanitized version of the events, the sanitized version of the victims that, you know, there was one bad guy and some innocent people. Um, and that, you know, he, he, he regrets that that is sort of the narrative that the court ended up going with. Mm. Um, and like I said, the sides had to leave separately. It was obviously a tense spot, right? Like um, you have grieving family members and you have people supporting someone who just got sentenced to spend, you know, a very, very, very significant amount of time in prison. But the judge was very clear that he didn't, he, his expectation is there wouldn't be even the possibility of parole until, you know, Techstone is, is in his words, elderly.